All right, it's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you very much. I tell you this story. It's written on my skin. And you might get the picture of the shape that I'm in Yeah, this one's for my buddies The gone is gone to be hey, Every time I reach out They're right in front of me now This one's for my lover She's on the inside of my arm Yeah, she my little geisha Keep me safe and warm You might think I'm crazy Like I don't have a plan I'm a decorated soldier Illustrated man I got four letters on my left hand And four more on my right I hit them with love and I hit them with hope when somebody wants to fight. Oh, and I got a few dark secrets that just won't let me be. I keep them in a place that very few can see. And brother, if I trust you, I might let you take a look. This ink is just a bookmark And I'm an open book You might think I'm crazy Try to understand I'm a decorated soldier Illustrated man You think I'm crazy Oh, just try to understand I'm a decorated soldier, illustrated man. So when I first started working, uh, I didn't want to collaborate with anybody. And now, uh, collaboration's pretty much in everything I do. So I'll tell you a little story here about why it changed what I learned and where it's led me. See, when I, when I first started collaborating, I mean, I'm sorry, when I first started working, uh, I saw collaboration as a sign of weakness. Like uh, if you couldn't do it on your own, got somebody to help you out. <clears throat> but that, that came from uh, my heroes growing up were people like uh, Neil Young and Bob Dylan and Guy Clark, and it was these uh, one one man in the spotlight thing, you know, the Marlboro men with guitars. I thought collaboration would somehow dilute my singular artistic vision, like a, like it was so pure and need to be protected in the first place, you know. But really, it was just fear. It was fear of. Uh, losing myself, you know, or giving away my ideas, like somebody's going to steal my stuff, you know. And there was only like a certain amount of ideas. <laughs> and uh, I, the, really it was I was afraid that people were going to think I needed help, you know. But really, it's lack of trust, lack of trust in myself. Lack of trust in others. Lack of trust in the whole process. But luckily, something changed. I had three experiences that kind of changed me. The first one was I met a good collaborator. It helped. This guy named Boo Hurardine. Like 1988, uh, Boo was an English songwriter. He had a band called The Bible. And 
uh, his record company contacted me and asked me if I wanted to come to London and write songs with one of their artists, Boo Hurdine. And all I knew about Boo Hurdine was what I'd read in a, like a four-line blurb in Spin magazine. But I quickly realized that this meant a free trip to London, so I went, I love that man's music. He's awesome. I have always wanted to collaborate with Boo Hurdine. I'd never written songs with anybody. I did not have a clue about what I was doing. He had never written songs with anybody. They threw us in a room and said, write some songs, boys, you know. So we, uh, we did. We wrote two songs a day. Um, uh, did some demos at the end of the week and got a record deal on Saturday. It was weird. It was, it was easy. I thought the music business was so easy after that. But when we sat in the room writing songs, I mean, really, we had nothing to lose. I mean, I was already in London. I'd gotten my free trip already. All I had to do was sit around and waste some time writing songs, and I was good. It's a good place to be when you're collaborating, when you feel like you have nothing to lose. That's when good stuff happens. But I would sit down with Boo, and we'd work, and I would, I mean, I'm a Texas, like, country folk singer-songwriter guy, you know? and. Uh, he grew up listening to the Beatles and uh, Squeeze, XTC. So I would pull off some sort of guitar lick that came straight out of like Folk 101, and he'd go, oh, that's awesome. And he would pull off some chord sequence that came out of, you know, Rubber Soul, and I'd go, oh, that's beautiful, man. You got to leave that in. It was when I first learned the magic of the collaboration, which is one and one makes three. Can make something bigger than yourself when you collaborate. And the second lesson um, came about uh, in the late 90s. I was working with his coach in town, a shrink kind of guy. I mean, I'm healed now, but anyway. I'm okay. And he gave me this assignment, and the assignment go out to the airport, a brand new airport we had back then. I went out to the airport, and back then you could just walk into the airport and walk around and stuff. It was, all, it was great, you know. Walk right up to the gate and get on a flight to San Diego, you know. Anyway, the assignment <clears throat> was to walk out to the airport, go into the terminal, and find somebody walking down the terminal in my direction and walk right towards them and see what happens. So I did it. Went to the terminal, found some guy walking in my direction. I walked right at him. He moved. I was like, wow. So I did it again. That guy moved. I did it a third time and a fourth time until I realized we're collaborating all the time. Everyone is collaborating all the time. And I was like, wow. You can't really even go through a stoplight without collaborating with everybody. If everybody's not playing the game, it's a mess. But when you do collaborate, look what happens. You make it through the airport terminal without some guy walking into you. That's when I started going to Nashville and uh, learning how to co-write songs uh, up there. Really learned what the, what the real deal was with all that. Changed my life. The uh, third lesson came about in the uh, sort of early 2000s. My daughter's preschool invited me to come sing some kids' songs to the kids. Now, I'm going to be really honest with you. I hate most kid music. Most of it is repulsive. I said, well, I, I don't really do that. You know, I don't really sing kids' songs. Maybe I could write something with them. And they said, okay, great. So I did. And I sat down with some three and four year olds and we wrote a song called, I Wish I Was a Rubber Duck, cause he gets to stay in the tub all day. <laughs> and all the different verses were about all these uh, different animals with how I'd rather, you know, I wish I was a monkey, I wish I was a chicken. And it, was, um, it was really fun that we recorded it. And, kids dug it but what was amazing was that all throughout the rest of the week 
on the playground, I heard these kids writing more verses to the song. It's like the song was alive. So I remember the third lesson was that you can make magic. You start collaborating with people. It's bigger than you, and you never know what's going to happen. And that experience led me down this long road of exploration into writing songs with people that don't write songs. And I did all kinds of crazy experiences with that. And then I met some soldiers. And that led to me starting this program called Songwriting with Soldiers. And what Songwriting with Soldiers does is we do retreats and we bring together professional songwriters with wounded soldiers and we spend three days talking and listening and then we uh, take their words and um, their stories and we write songs with them. Uh, that song, that first song, Illustrated Man, was written by uh, myself and the guy next to me in this picture, uh, Gary Nicholson <clears throat> and a man named Dustin Kreitz. It's a massive collaboration project. It's crazy. It's like I'm collaborating with uh, the executive director, my friend Mary. We talk almost every day. I collaborate with the other songwriters. I collaborate with the photographers and the videographers that come document the program. And it's like uh, I'm collaborating with the soldiers. And not only with the soldiers, but I'm collaborating with their families. Because if we write a song with a soldier, you know, you can tell secrets in songs. It's really great. You tell a secret in a song that you can't say in a conversation. And people tell us some really amazing stuff. And if a soldier tells us a secret and takes a bit of the charge off his experience, it might make his home life a little safer, a little happier. But we're also collaborating with the uh, co-workers. Might be collaborating with the, the person sitting next to the soldier at a stoplight. So, I could never do this on my own. You know, it's just impossible for me to run this project. I mean, I, 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 I am, there's so much that I'm not good at. I don't really want to get good at it. But other people are. But if we put it together, I mean, I got my thing, you know, and I'm going to bring it. But I need these other people. And together we can make something really big. So it's a song I wrote with uh, uh, a guy named James Monk. And uh, James uh, was a combat videographer. Just think about that for a second. Combat videographer. So he saw the war through a video camera. So he's come to almost every one of our retreats to, um, to document him. Finally, after about seven retreats, I said, listen, dude, you got to write a song too. So I got him, finally got him to sit down. And I started the session like I start almost all the sessions with. I said, like, uh, so James, uh, why'd you join the military? He started telling me his story, and eventually he came to um, his first combat experience. It was Fallujah. I was like, wow, because I'd heard other stories about Fallujah and what it was like. And I said, wow, so what was that like, man? He goes, man, I was just pff, scared. Trying to, uh, try not to get knocked down. You know? And I was praying hard, like Old Testament praying. I love that. Oh, he said Old Testament. I was like, wow. That's great. He, goes, he said, yeah, it was weird, like right in the middle of it. it was just crazy stuff happening all around me. He goes, it got really quiet. He goes, uh, he said it was like I was holding God's hand. Now, I'm a songwriter. I'm looking for song hooks all the time. Somebody says something like holding God's hand, I go, oh, song title. Blind, scared, over there, under attack, first combat, praying real hard like Daniel prayed back in those Old Testament days. Bullets started flying crazy and loud, 
Doing all I could not to get knocked down Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Guide me through There was this kid from Texas Jose Valen just 19 It's a terrible thing it Seemed like he was just getting started in life And he had a dream And he had a wife And he lost it all In that place It's sitting right here I see his face Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Got me through Got me through Well, I'm back home now It's a miracle how I made it through That's why I'm telling you Everybody's lost, everybody's scared Everybody's wondering if anybody cares And the reason that I made it through the fight Was to love my neighbor Do what's right Just Sing along with me now Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Got me through One more time Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Holding God's hand Got me through I had this big desire to, to uh, live and work out where uh, sort of my peak creativity collides with my peak openness. And collaboration does that for me a lot. Songwriting with soldiers like, especially doesn't. To do that, I can't, I can't be scared it doesn't work. I have to be generous with my time, uh, my ideas. I just give them away now. They come back. It's awesome. The ultimate boomerang. I have to trust, I have to trust myself, others, the whole process. And I have to accept the fact that I need other people also to uh, accept the fact that people might need me. I have to be present, you know. I did volunteer for this, so bring it, you know. I have to will willing to be a part of something that wasn't there before, make something new. So that's my story. I went from uh, no collaboration to like constant collaboration. I didn't lose anything. I gained. I mean, we're collaborating right now. It's all around us. You know, I'm I'm singing, talking. You're listening. Ben's working the slides for me, doing a great job. <laughs> even some even some of you sang along. And I realized, looking back, those heroes, they just looked like they were the only person in the life. A whole team around them.
we all have a gift. We all have, it's like we have a light, okay? We've got a light inside of us. Most of our creative life, we spend with that light pointing on ourselves. You have to. That's how you get good at what you're, what you're doing, okay? What I feel is that at a certain point, turn the light out. Shine your thing out, okay? When you do that, you're like, uh, there's somebody wandering around in the dark. Light them up. You might be wandering around in the dark, okay? And somebody sees you, but you gotta shine your light out, you know? <clears throat> Sorry. You gotta let shine your light out. When you do that, you can make magic in the world. Thank you very much.